Hey girlfriends and what's up and thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome back to another queen with me. We are tackling my main living area and when I say main living area, girlfriend, we are collecting laundry, we are vacuuming my couch and when I say vacuum my couch, we are pulling the cushions off, we are cleaning underneath the cushions and we are getting all the things off of that couch and getting it clean once again. We are cleaning my refrigerator so that I don't buy double of the things that I don't need to buy because she's all about saving the coins. So before we get into this satisfying clean with me, I just have a couple business notes that I would just love to share with you guys. So if you missed the reveal of my son's bedroom, and honestly I cannot believe where his room was before to where it is now. So if you missed it, I'll be sure to put that link below. And if you are new, hey girlfriend, I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Sherelle and I love to have you hit that subscribe button. I make these cleaning videos as well as lifestyle and home makeover videos. Either way, girlfriends, if you all could like this video, it helps out my channel so, so much. So now let's get into this cleaning. So while my husband is out doing work meetings and my kids are virtually in school, I'm going to go ahead and just open up my windows, let in some fresh air, and then I'm going to tackle this couch. So before I vacuum the top of my cushions, I wanted to give it a deeper clean by vacuuming underneath the cushions. Then once I'm, I'm done with that, I'll take care of the top. But I was thinking that I should start using my carpet shampooer to really give the top of my cushions a really good deep clean, especially since my covers are really difficult to take off. And some of my cushions are surviving by a safety pin holding it together. But let me know in the comments what your thoughts are if I should start using my carpet shampooer just to give it a really good deep clean, which is something that I really want to do until we're able to, you know, buy a new couch. Whenever I'm working on a makeover, there are always spaces in my home that get neglected, which is one of the things that I really do not like about makeovers, but it is what it is, right? So tackling this area brings a little bit of peace to my mind before making over my daughter's room, which I hope to have uploaded next week and praying that this second COVID shot does not take your girl out. But with the weather warming up, what are some of your summer plans that you have? We plan on doing some road trips, which are always fun, and we shall see what are some summer activities that we can do with the kids for doing so well with virtual learning despite the abrupt changes. Speaking of my family, I know a lot of you are new to my channel and I just wanted to say hey again and introduce myself. My name is Sherelle and I'm a mom to two Hershey Kisses who are almost preteens. 
Ooh, I am not ready for this chapter, y'all. My husband is Lyle, and we live in DC. I love encouraging and creating motivational content for the everyday woman to not forget to actually live their lives because it is a gift. And you can also follow me on Instagram, which I am reorganizing to share more behind the scenes and inspirational content. For you to please, whatever we need to put in the time. I'm through, trying to tell you what to do. So growing up in Germany, I am accustomed to opening up the windows and having the fresh air come in. There's just something about it. And honestly, I think one of the biggest, big, big reasons that I open up the windows now because I just miss Germany. I just miss being home. And so dusting the window seals was something I wanted to do because, you know, who wants to walk by a window and see the dirt? Not she. Did y'all see that dust outline from my tray when I picked it up? I tell you, dust need to do better. It doesn't need to tell your business out there in the streets the way that it does. But hey, girlfriends, this is the realistic cling with me. And this is what it is. It, it's been a hot minute since I dust my coffee table. So I'm very glad that my camera did not show you how bad my entertainment center was because she was dust to do. Make me fall for you. You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy just be honest As I prepare for my second load, I'm just going to add my white slip covers that actually goes to my chairs in my dining room and living room. And one thing that I have found that keeps your whites white, it's adding baking soda to your laundry. I don't know what it is about baking soda, but it absolutely works. And so if you add that right along with your daily detergent bleach and softener which I actually use vinegar as my softener your stuff comes out white every single time but comment below what are some things that you use to keep your whites white now that I empty out my refrigerator um, as you guys you know this light bulb bless his little heart <laughs> I ended up making it work and the sad thing is as I'm saying bless his heart it's bless mine um because I was screwing it in the opposite direction because I completely forgot lefty Lucy righty tidy yeah um I need prayer <laughs> so one of the things I'm trying to get better at is wiping down my shelves before grocery comes into this refrigerator because these shelves are pain in the butt to get out um, it also gives me a better inventory of what we have in our refrigerator so I'm not buying double of anything however I didn't do well these past couple of months but I'm trying to stay on top of it and I know I might get better but some things are just a work in progress so if you were trying to start a new routine um, a new method of doing things that you know it'll work but you've just been doing it one way for so long give yourself grace it's okay we're gonna get it I mess up too not everything is a perfect 10 it's all about progression and not perfection I got high hopes Do you want the same?
I've cleaned my fridge and it's not Pinterest worthy, but it told me exactly what needed to be eaten that night. So when our Amazon order arrived later on that evening, I would know exactly where to put it and it gave me a list of things to add to my grocery list when I go grocery shopping later on that weekend. My slipcovers are ready to be placed back on the chairs and I love how kid friendly these are because whenever there is a spill all I have to do is just throw this in the wash. It allows me to keep these chairs a little bit longer that have survived several military boots. As a homemaker, some days are super productive. I can have the entire house clean and everything fills in order. And then there are days where it is absolutely crazy and nothing gets done. So I just wanted to kindly encourage and remind you that this is just a cleaning video. It's only 11 minutes into my life. It's not the full picture. And that there are days and messes and messes behind me as I'm cleaning. Someone's placing dirty dishes in the sink after cleaning the kitchen. And sometimes that person is me. <laughs> it happens it's a real life over here i'm always juggling and struggling and i'm just doing my best but that's the point all your family can ask of you as a wife and a mom is for your best and that is enough whether you get everything done on your to-do list or nothing at all tomorrow is a new day and it's a fresh start i just wanted to encourage you with that because there are days where you probably do not feel that you are doing enough but you are especially if you are taking care of your family i apologize so big up big up your life I really hope you enjoy hanging out with me today, getting some cleaning motivation. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that it encouraged you and gave you the encouragement and motivation you need to tackle something in your own home. Again, if you are new, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. And it really means a lot to me, girlfriend, when you guys do that. I'll see you really soon in the next one. Until next time, girlfriend. Stay beautiful. Your voice.